Okay, let's take a look at this liver um, microscopic model, okay? It has two different parts to it. You notice on the left-hand side, there's a blow-up of what we refer to as the lobules of the liver, and then on the right same side, we have a more microscopic view. So let's take a start over a look over here, okay? First of all, each of these roughly six-sided structures here is referred to as a liver lobule, okay? Right in the center of the lobule, you have what's referred to as the central vein. Now you'll notice where these three lobules go together, we have three structures at the junction of each of these lobules, okay? And here's another one. This is referred to as the hepatic portal triad. And the hepatic portal triad contains three different things. The red structure is a branch of your hepatic artery. The green structure is a bile canaliculus, or a little bile canal. And the purple structure is a branch of the hepatic portal vein, okay? So what happens is the liver has two blood sources. It has oxygenated blood that's coming from the hepatic artery, which ultimately comes off of the uh, celiac trunk. And then you've got deoxygenated but nutrient-rich blood that comes in through your hepatic portal vein, okay? So the oxygen and nutrients that are coming in from the dual supply are going to take their nutrients towards the central vein. Along the way, the liver takes the nutrients that it needs, the oxygen that it needs, and so forth. And whatever's left over for the body goes in that central vein, which ultimately is going to lead to the hepatic vein, which then goes to the inferior vena cava. At the same time, one of the metabolic functions of the liver is to make bile. So as these hepatocytes in this lobule make bile, bile flows in the opposite direction to blood, drains into the bile canaliculus, and then ultimately is going to exit um, the, the uh, liver out of the hepatic ducts, okay? So if we come over here and look at this microscopic view, now I've got each one of these cells here we refer to as a hepatocyte, okay? And then these openings, these kind of blue openings, here you can see one that's not cut, those are your sinusoids. The liver has special capillaries, we call them sinusoidal capillaries, because we want to slow down blood flow and allow the liver to work, uh, have time to access the nutrients and so forth that are delivered to it through the portal circulation. Scattered throughout here, we have these little kind of pinkish cells. And these little pink cells are referred to as Kupfer cells, and those are phagocytic cells that are found in the liver. And then, again, here in the corner, you see part of the portal triad with the biocanaliculus, the portal vein, and a branch of the hepatic artery, or arteriole at this point, okay? So there's a good, quick overview of our liver model.